Hey, Naptop here, and enough's enough already. Every time I sit down on my computer, I start accessing folders, getting my stuff all ready, and I get my little notification, drive space almost full, and I start going through the folders to see what I can delete. And as I'm going through these folders, I'm seeing all this stuff that I've never finished. I've never posted, I've never shared. There are tutorials or builds. There's tons of cool PVC projects. I'm always working on. They're like these ongoing projects I've been working on for the past five or six years. And with that, today I was like, you know what? I'm gonna share a little treat, a couple little treats actually. I'm gonna show you a video from a few years back shot by my friend Alex Zavada from over at Flight Test, also Drive On. With my time at Flight Test, I spent a lot of time filming aerial video, not from the air, but from the ground, which means I would be pointed up with my camera. And so I would customize PVC rigs that would fit my needs specifically for this upward motion, which I didn't really need a lot of back weight on my camera rigs like my previous builds that I've had. So this rig right here that I'm gonna show you is one that I tried for this specific event. It's from a few years back. And after this video, I wanna talk a little bit more about PVC rigs and some other little treats I got coming your way. It just kinda is wrapped around so I can let it hang. Uh, it's still something that I'm working on because obviously you don't want this to be exposed to the sunlight because it's gonna turn into a magnifying glass. So I just kind of set it like that when I'm not using it. This magic arm, you can kind of just adjust it. And obviously there's no counterweights because typically about 90% of the time I'm like this. So I don't really need any counterweight. And these handles come off if you want to go really <laughs> pack it away pretty small probably one of the simplest shoulder rigs that I've created and it's been working out really well, especially that hands-free. If you wanted to film yourself working on anything like that, you could do that. But then also this magic arm lets you really articulate it and put it in positions where you could be overly ridiculous with it if you wanted to. Ah. So. <laughs> Once this is comfortable, I can position this where I, my arms are against my body like this, and then I can just let my body do all the follow cam stuff compared to doing like this stuff. And having it feel weird, I can just set it like that and go for it. So, so far it's been going pretty good. A little quick effect shoulder rig. See how it turns out. You're back, great. How was it, what'd you think, huh? One of my favorite things about PVC builds and DIY projects like shoulder rigs and little camera cages like this is the fact that you can customize your rig specifically for that shoot or that shot or that project. I have this whole ridiculous case of PVC fitting. A lot of times I don't end up gluing the things together. I just tape it temporarily because I know I only need it for a few shots and I can throw it all back in here and save it for another time. That raises a good point, and that's something I've been thinking about and struggling with over the last few years. Is DIY production gear like this still relevant? I know years ago, I was doing all kinds of builds and sharing them. I haven't been sharing as many. I've still been creating things. It's just I've also been purchasing the really affordable stuff that's been coming out. It's hard for me to justify telling somebody to go out, spend $30 to build a rig like this, plus the extra components like this. Next thing you know, you're heading towards $50 for a little project like that when you can get online and buy a cage for about $45. And what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments below. I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts. This cup is so reflective, you can't even see what it says. Can you even read it? There it is, Peter Schriebel. There's your product placement, Peter. I got something else here. This was sent out from Tri Treats. And the reason I'm even talking about it is because I like I like a little treats. I'm a snacker, I like to snack. As you can read right here, treats, explore the world through food. Trytreats.com sent this out, and what this is is a monthly subscription to foods from all over the world. And it's a unique opportunity to see and taste some candy and food that you might not ever get a chance to ever try unless you're a world traveler. So let's check out some of these things. All right, so we got a little Bavaria, Germany information card and with a description about Germany, this specific place. This is kind of a bummer because I originally was gonna open this box and just hang out with you guys and I was gonna do that with my friend Eric and we got the coffee maker out, we're getting it all set up.
we just started talking and then the two hours later, I had to go home and I never got a chance to open the box. So I'm doing this by myself today. Eric, you're missing out. Let's check out some of these treats. Look at this. This thing's loaded and I think this is the standard box. You can check out the link in the description. There's a discount code, a not top discount code. What? Save a little bit of money, but I think it's pretty cool because you're hanging out at home and you're just like, oh, I got treats in the mail. So let's see here. We got Bueno. We got some Milka. Some salt, saltlet, saltlets. Let's see what else we got. Some palm sticks. And we got some curly, oh, these look, okay, we're gonna try these right now. Curly peanut classic. Here's a Milka chocolate cow. Happy Cola candies. Heshes, am I saying that right? Correct me in the comments. Curly peanut, these are like little Cheetos, but they're peanut butter. Let's see a little bit here. Guten Tag from Germany. This month's treat come to you from Germany, a country located in Europe and bordering France to its left and Poland to its right. Germany is known for its beer, pretzels, and its love for chocolate. Well, isn't that perfect? Because I love chocolate too. Chocolate is so beloved in Germany that Germany is actually the world's second largest consumer of chocolate. What? See, getting hit with the knowledge too. This is good stuff. So sit back, relax, and indulge your taste buds in the scrumptious journey of Germany. We're about to take a trip in Germany. Look at this, this thing's loaded. I'm not gonna eat all this food in front of you guys. Thinking of flight test, my friend David Vindestal lives in Sweden and he was one of the guys I used to work with and since moved back. I wanna visit him and travel the world. So until then, I'm gonna travel the world through candy. Why did I choose crunchy food? Let's see what this is all about. The Milka chocolate cow. I'm saying chocolate cow, but it just says cocoa cow. Okay, okay, look at that, it's a little. Oh, it's, is it one or is it It's a little chocolate cow? Well, it's a cookie on this side and chocolate on this side. They sort of stuck together. That's delicious. I'm not joking, that is super good. Kinder. These almost look like Kit Kat. Am I allowed to compare foods? Oh, there they are, look. Look at that grip. Need that kind of grip on one of my shoulder rigs, huh? It's chocolate covered in chocolate. It's real good. A Leo bar? Whoa, that totally looks like Kit Kat, doesn't it? Anyways, all right. So that's trytreats.com, the link's in the description and there is a discount code NOPTOP. So check it out, click that link, leave a comment, let me know what you think about the DIY builds, the future of DIY builds, specifically with camera rigs. I have this little cage that I've been wanting to share and some of you, Nate's film tutorials, he, he, uh, he built one just based on me holding this and just kind of shaking it around. He figured out the dimensions and everything. This is a newer one with rounded edges. I'm curious if some of you might find use out of some of these builds in more detail, or at least get some of the measurements posted up there. Anyways, check the links in the description, leave your comments. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for hanging out. That's all for now. Thanks again, Knob Top, go make something. This is how you get those cool YouTube thumbnails.